Good day everybody, here we are, all season adventures again. So it is Saturday, so it is time to go camping. What we're taking this time is, got the KLR all set up there, don't you worry, I got my riding clothes, but for camping, we're gonna take the 84 F-150. Sweet ride, I love this rig, but uh, as you can see, I did what I got packed in her. Got up some spare tools just in case. Got some traction boards in the bag just in, in the, just in case. And show you guys what we got in the truck. There you go, in the truck we got our two-man tent, our sleeping bag, sleeping pad, and mentioned earlier, we got a crossbow, and uh, target tree still in the house. Gonna put that last thing in the case it starts raining, so keep that undercover. And then got a flashlight there, always need some lighting. And then in the back, got our Coleman stove, got our cooking supplies in there, flat, uh, underhood light, so that's lighting. And then before we take off, I'm sure we'll be sticking in uh, one or two more things. Oh yeah, also get some firewood because, uh, I don't know, could find some, but uh, easier just arrive there and start it and chill out and relax. Uh, plan on cooking some cheese dogs, of course. But anyhow, as I said last week, uh, I, got, no, I, I got a good idea where we're going, but might as well go recce it out, see what it looks like on the old KLR. I'm just going to show you guys on the helmet cam once I get to the dirt road and hopefully we find a little bit of mud. So anyhow, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Cheers. This is. Be a nice spot to go camp tonight. Shoot the crossbow back there. Well, here we are, parked right behind this trailer. This could be a possible other camp spot, too. So, got two possible camp spots for tonight. Hold on a second. Here tonight, uh, once we head out with the F 150, we'll go where we saw that couple. Uh, Shooting some guns, try that pit out first. If that's taken, we'll come right here. So we got a couple options, so we're good to go, and we'll be able to do some crossbow shooting. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna chill out here for a bit, then show you guys right back. Cheers. Well, feels good to get a, a little bit of mud on the old KLR. She definitely will get more than this at some point before the this year 2021 is done. That's for sure. But, uh, yeah, I say it always feels awesome getting on this bike. Keep thinking someday. No point soon. Only when the engine really starts needing it. But it'll be nice. Someday, I think they make a 710 big bore kit. So increase it by 60 cc's. That'd be kind of nice someday. But for now, KLR does pretty darn good in my mind. Yeah, I'm gonna head back home and uh, next time you guys will see me I'll probably be uh, walking up to the old F 150 and getting ready to head out camping So till then have yourself a good one. Cheers Okay, here we are again last you guys saw me was on the KLR We did pack a few little extra things in the old Ford before we take off uh, Basically as you guys can see I got a uh, my tank bag and tail bag Got some good camping gear in there that always come along on the KLR, so hey, why not bring it on the old Ford? And then on the inside, we got our uh, crossbow targets, got our 
One that I store bought and one that I made myself that I want to pull to the test. So I'll describe more about that thing later on when we get out there. Then I got my rain jacket, of course, and got our crossbow in there. And then in the back, got our filming lights and our pots and pans and stuff. But uh, anyway, as you can tell, we got our truck pretty much packed up, except for we got one more thing to go grab. So hold on a second. There we go. Uh, yeah, he's taking a piss right now. Yeah, way to go. Show it off your unit there, bud. But anyhow, yeah, we got the little guy, the teddy bear. He wants to come camping with us, so. Come on, bud. There you go. Okay, there's that nice truck there. The old 84, and there we got a. Not sure if you can see him. We got the teddy bear. He's just hanging out out there. Hey, bud. Anyhow, uh, yeah, you guys probably can't tell because it's pretty dark right now, but down that direction, you might be able to see some white. There's a little bit of a gun range over there. So uh, orientate yourself just to show, too. Like, uh, here you go. Whole bunch of shotgun shells. So obviously, uh, I don't like when people leave their debris around like that. Like, come on. If you're going to come shooting, please pick up after yourself. But anyhow, as you guys know, we brought my crossbow. So, plan is to zero it. 20, 50. Not sure how far we'll shoot it. Maybe 100 yards. I don't know. Mind you, they are giving rain tomorrow. So, but that being said, no matter what, I'm shooting my crossbow. Does rain affect your zeroing? I don't know. We'll give it a shot anyhow and try to get her close uh, to as much as we can. Uh, at least 25, 20, I don't know. We'll figure out a number. Maybe 20 yards. I don't know. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to go uh, set up the tent, uh, make fire, and I'll get back to you guys. Cheers. Well, as you can see, we got our fire going pretty good. Got our tent set up, looking pretty sharp. So, uh, time for a little uh, night go around of our campsite. And, and here we got a little teddy bear just hanging out. Hey there, bud. You just keep chilling in the sleeping bag. And if you guys can see back there, we do have a little target lighted up. So it's not the best for zeroing, but we should be close enough. I did kind of zero in my basement at home, so should still be able to hit the target. So anyhow, let's find out. Well, let's go see what we got. Like I say, uh, I'm not a little crossbow expert. This is my first crossbow I've ever owned. So, anyhow, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, first, oh yeah. Well, 20 yards away, we got two in the bullseye, two out there. And it is uh, dark outside, but this, uh, it's a four power scope, so you know. But uh, tomorrow we'll play a little bit more in the daytime and see how she is. So, uh, but anyhow, we shot some crossbow at night. Driven the old Ford. I think there's one more thing to do tonight. You guys know what that is. Cheese dog time, my friends. Cheers. There we go. 
not a bad way to wrap up tonight. Like that, had a nice KLR ride this afternoon. Explored this area a little bit. Uh, got a uh, the old 84 truck. This is the second time I've gone camping with this rig, and love driving this thing off road. And finishing it off with a cheese dog for the night. So anyhow, tomorrow. Oh yeah, we also shot our crossbow at night. So tomorrow morning, rain or shine, we're gonna fire a few more bolts on that crossbow, and I'll give my verdict what I think about it so well so far I like it so, uh, I'm enjoying it my first crossbow someday maybe I'll upgrade I don't know but so far it's a good time with it and the plan is uh, I think I'm gonna cook a cheese dog omelet like I said rain or shine so anyhow stay tuned I'll see you guys me in a few hours see you guys in a few seconds cheers ah, good morning everybody you see we got the teddy bear he is just raring to go outside once he sees how it's raining outside, he probably won't want to be there very, very long. But anyhow, it's time to get up, get dressed, and uh, shoot a little bit of crossbow. And it's not raining too hard, so I think we will make that uh, our breakfast or cheese dog omelet. So, fingers crossed, uh, rain holds up a little bit. So now let's get dressed and get outside, outside, see what it looks like. Cheers. Well, here we are outside. You guys can see a little bit set, uh, better. We got for our tent set up. And the back there to the right. Then you guys can see back there we got a pit, so uh, don't have to worry about losing, well, shouldn't worry about losing any bolts when we shoot our targets. And the old 84 Ford looking nice as normal. And right now I got our grill set up. Time to cook up some cheese dog, uh, cheese dog omelet I plan on doing. So uh stopped uh, raining, which is kind of nice. So anyhow, let's get this omelet started, eating, and then shoot a few bolts. Cheers. Not the bestest, but... Okay, not our best uh, cheese dog on it we've made in the past, but... Uh, let's quickly have a little taste test. Definitely still has a taste of the cheese dog omelet, so uh man, well I had one of these, they're pretty good. So and, uh if you haven't had one yet, what are you waiting for? Have one and let me know in the comments what you think about it. So and yeah, I'm gonna finish off. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna my, my omelet. And now I finish off my omelet, fire a few bolts, got the target set at 50 yards, and uh, then we'll make some tracks and see what the rain did to the roads. Cheers. Take a quick walk down and see what we got. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm not a professional cross gore, so we're practicing bit by bit. We'll get better. And plus, I was messing around with the sights like that. Uh, at 20 yards, uh, she seemed pretty good on the dot, but uh, yeah, I was uh, trying a little bit of Kentucky windage and uh, didn't work the best for me. But just so you guys know, uh, that's a little uh, handmade target that I did myself. My other one that I used last night cost around $50 plus tax. That one cost me a bunch of rags and a shoe box, so held up pretty good. This one here went a little bit further than I'd like, but uh, overall not too bad. The only thing missing, I'm gonna have to tape up a go handle, a little bit of a carrying handle on there. But anyhow, I say it's time to pack this up and uh, head back out in the mud, make some tracks. Cheers.
Well, I gotta say, that wraps up uh, this week's uh, All Season Adventures. Gotta say, it was a great time taking the old Ford, the uh, 84 F-150 back home. Love driving that thing, just brings me way, way, way back to when I was a young little buckaroo. But anyhow, you guys are probably wondering why we got the FXR and the 10 since we just camped in the 84. Well, that's a sneak peek of uh, next week's camping trip. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So till next time, remember to live everybody. And cheers.